uh, morning uh, one and all. It is the 4th of May 2013. Actually, you know, I'm still a bit jaded from the Scotland trip. Thoughts are not coming to my head randomly. So, let, me, let me go get my thinking cap on. I'll, I'll, I'll be, be right back. I'm just going to get my thinking cap. That's better. Yes, now you can tell the warm weather's here, the yellow hat has gone, and I've got my lovely little baseball cap on me. Which means two things. Either you're watching the World Series about baseball, or you've tuned in for another Ian Paul Trains documentary. And you've done the latter. You've chose right. Nothing against baseball. Baseball's a good sport. Support the Yankees myself. I know, I know, I know, I know. Anyway, um, so we are going to go around the Midlands today. Um, just a short trip. Um, we're going to go up to Birmingham first, then on to the Hawthorns. Uh, kill a bit of time going there, and then uh, additional plan. We're actually going to pop into the Seven Valley Railway. Uh, because it is their Western weekend today, and um, Duncan told me the time that the uh, my good friend Duncan told me for that time that the uh, Western was leaving. So I thought, I'm in the area. Why not? Uh, so we'll get that, and then we're going to go on to the main station of the day, which is Great and it's a Great Malvern. It's not. It's Malvern Link. Um, admittedly, Great Malvern's probably the better of the two stations, but Malvern Link's better for what we've got coming through. Because later on, we've got uh, three, four. 067 Tangmere coming through. So everyone chill out, sit back, relax, put your feet up, get that can of pop you were thinking of out of the uh Ooh, camera's almost falling there. Really. Get that can of pop out the fridge, go get some popcorn and to be important. Oh here it comes. Ooh, now did you bring me the beast or not? No, you brought me 17509. 733 service to be in go.
challenge you know <laughs> to look at this later. But right now we've got to get to Moore Street. Well, it says this way to go to Moore Street. Now where am I going? Ah, I know where I'm going now. That's the, that's the back of the bull ring. Ah, that helps. That's New Street down there. Yeah, I've come out the other side of the New Street. Should have come out over on the other side over there, but I haven't. So, on to more Street. There's a Chilton, but here comes my train, the uh, 855, London service to Kidderminster. That children's eight cars. I'm here to get off for the Hawthorns. Here's my station, no Hawthorns. <laughs> Hello, it's not too far from the station, the Hawthorne Stadium here in West Bromwich, home of the West Bromwich Albion. There was a time when Stevie Clark's Boing Boing Baggies were doing well, and now you're doing pants. Hey, I've just figured out why you called the Boing Boing Baggies. You're all fans of Pacer Buses! Yeah, you're all fans of freaking Pacer Buses, aren't you? That's why you're the boy boy baggies. Peter Roggs and Wiggy wanted to be on my video diaries, but I wouldn't let him because he didn't get permission to appear because he appeared on another video diary. Oh, I went there. Come see 0943 Chilton Railway Service London to London Maribo from Kidderminster. 168003. service to Worcester Shrub Hill. Come through, 1028 to Dorwich, 172218. Think over it. I thought so. It's here. Already. 
rather wait to Dorwich. 172342. Yeah, that's the first time I've seen that one. Well, you have one. Must have come up from uh, Worcester or Malden or something like that. Old Hill, Cradley Heath, Lyme, Stourbridge Junction and Kidderminster. This train is formed of three coaches. Oh my God, Bill Privilege. Stourbridge Junction for services And it's probably full of West Brom fans knowing our luck. I shouldn't say that actually, because that's wrong. Here's our train out here, 172345. Twelve ten to KDM. Oh yeah. I mean, okay, this, this was the one fifties line, but you couldn't stay with the one fifties forever, could you? No. Oh, it doesn't look like it's here at the moment.
172342. It's going to take us to. What's the Forget Street? Just now leaving, heading off with the 1437 First Great Western Service from Great Malvern to London Paddington is 165106. Now in with the 1457 First Great Western Service, so 1452 First Great Western Service. From Great Malvern to Weymouth is one five eight nine five four. Who are they? Well, the good news is I found one seventy six three one. The bad news is it's working the fifteen thirteen London Midland service from Hereford to Birmingham New Street. One seven two three forty, and that's working the fifteen thirty two London Midland service from Great Malvern to Whitlock's End. Hear me, right in, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I welcome you all to Great Malvern, not Great Malvern, sorry, Malvern Link. Uh, I'm just going to take a step back here to show you this station because this station is under redevelopment at the moment um, what the uh, Worcestershire Council are doing is they are going to turn this station back to the way it was in Victorian times uh, so they're gonna resurrect where the two white boxes are there and I'll just there's one of them there the other one's behind me behind my head um, them to Victorian standards but to put some modern features in there and uh, they're gonna new lighting systems I think uh, there were plans to extend this platform here um, to accommodate more stuff but uh, it's, it's not going to be finished for a while but when it does this will be look more like it's Victorian uh, how it should be um, two platforms here the platform I'm on platform two uh, you can go up to Worcester and then from Worcester it's either on to Birmingham uh, which then can go through straight to Dorwich or Whitlock's End, Stratford and in that area or you can go the other way to Birmingham New Street via the Licky Bank. You can also get to London Paddington from here um, via the 
Honey Bar Online. And uh, going the other way, Platform 1, is where you can either go to Great Malvern and then on to either Hereford to possibly go on then to the south of Wales, Cardiff, Swansea, that area. Um, we're now waiting for Tangmere. Uh, she's not due through to about 6 o'clock, so I'm a little early, two and a half hours early. Uh, but hopefully if we get her in time, we can jump on the 1812-02 to Dorwich to get off at either Smerwick or Birmingham New Moor Street. If not, the 1812's there as a banker. Uh, but hopefully we can get her there. If not, we're screwed. Alright, Dylan and gentlemen, here comes our only H first and only HST of the day. It is the 1548 First Great Western Service from Hereford to London Paddington. 43122 with 41109, 41107, 42222, 42222, 42277, 44002, I'll tell you what, this is fit. 43088. Well, I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, that's a perfect fit. Look at this, we've what? Ooh, a good 15 feet of platform left. That is a full HST set fitting on Melbourne Link platform. Take that Aberdeen and shove it right up your arse. Now I'm no bird watcher but on top of the uh, Victorian Great Malvern sign that looks like a magpie. It's not a magpie, it's one of those uh, black tail jobbies. But that looks more magpie than anything. Just now coming in, the 1626 First Great Western service from Southampton Central through to Great Malvern. Hello, one of our 153s is on the back. We've got 153372 on the front. But look who's here, our welcome home. 153325. Oh look. Someone's left a broken class 66. And you'll now find 153325 and 153372 leaving with the Wait a second, you sure? Hereford? 172.214 and 172.212 Are you sure? It says Hereford on the board, so it must be. Jesus freaking Castillo, that came out of New Street. 1 Victor 21, 1742, Great Birmingham New Street to Hereford, and it's two 172s. Are we on short stock or something? Holy fucking moly. <clears throat> Guys, this may end up being a bowlage. Behind me is my train leaving, so I'm stuck here now.
Now, I need to find a way home. Alright then, uh, a brief update, and it will be very brief. I am uh, still here at, w at Morven Link. Um, missed my train because time here was late. Everything, everything told me to go Worcester Four, get Street, and get it, but I didn't listen to my instincts. So, originally, that passenger help point over there told me I had to wait to 1942. Fuck that. Um, so I asked him. I said, "Look, I've got this ticket." Is there any quicker way to get back to Birmingham? And this is what the passenger information point has told me. Told me to go up to Worcester, go across to the Worcester, to Cheltenham Spa from Worcester, and then Cheltenham to Birmingham. That is what the passenger information point has told me. If I get bollocked at all for this, then I'm going to say, well, they, they told me to. So Anyway, we'll see how this goes. I should be back in the house for about half past ten. Should have been back in for half eight. Oh well. Oh well, here comes my train out of here. My revised train out of here. The 1838 First Great Western Service to London Paddington. Now I've got to get this to one of the two Worcester stations. And then onwards to Cheltenham. And then Birmingham that way. So it's 166207. Oh, here at 
after a bit but then again it does it's the chase line not a chase line it's the snow hill lines um, and then we did Malvern Link um, pity we were slightly delayed in uh, getting Tangmere and then we were delayed in getting back to here about an hour late we're not going to blame it on the trains because we probably the trains well it's my fault uh, actually then no, we'll blame it on Tangmere that's perfect um, and um, she, she was she was good to get. Uh, nearly got bowled by my trailer that should have gone, which uh, which would have been uh, really stupid. Um, and then obviously, it's been a tall. You know, I wish this was smell vision actually, because some guys puked on this train, literally in the seat area. Not where the uh, doors are, just behind the doors. Not on my side, the other side. And it stinks. I mean, how I've not thrown up is beyond me. Mind you, thrown up on 17505 here. <laughs> Could have happened to a nicer turbo star. Mind you, the seat is a bit loose. Very loose. Um, two main things um, to uh, conclude this video diary. Uh, number one, the new entrance and new street. Um, if I could sum it up in one word, it would be shite. Um, it, it's just complicated. Complicated and shite. I mean, you have to go a long way around there just to get to fucking Moor Street. I mean, Moor, New Street to Moor Street on the old entrance took me three minutes. It's now taking nearly 13. Oh my god, my days. Um, so yeah, I don't rate the new entrance at all. In fact, I, I think it can uh, go to hell. Um, and then um, the next video diary. Now, we have got a midweek trip planned to London, but I'm going to spare you guys. I'm not going to do a video diary for it. What I am going to do a video diary for uh, the next Saturday one, which is Swindon. Uh, we're just going to Swindon for one reason, um, one reason only, and that is to get uh, one of the most influential uh, steam uh, names around. When you think Great Western, probably three names, uh, three top, three uh, train names spring to mind: the Torbay Express, perhaps the Devonian, and the Cheltenham Flyer. And it is that third one that we are going to get with the castle. 5043 Earl Matt Edge come on point, but I'll explain more about that next week uh, because we are not long now out of Rugeley 
Uh, and so I will bid you all a very good night.